YouTube family. What is going on with everyone? Welcome back and welcome to all the newcomers. It is your boy Jay the Sneaker Guy coming at y'all today with a different type of video, y'all. Y'all see the title. We uh we're gonna be doing something a little different today, y'all. We're gonna be talking about my personal experiences at uh shopping with GOAT. And um, you know, I'm just gonna give y'all some tips as far as what I know and what I feel like you should do as far as buying used shoes from GOAT. So um before we get into that, y'all, if this is your first time stopping through, checking out any of the family's content or y'all are returning, y'all have visited before, but y'all are not yet a part of the family. Hey man, what y'all waiting on, man? Hey, hey, we, we, we busting over here, man. Pause, crazy, crazy, crazy. But but the channel is busting over here, man. Hey, we, we, we climbing, man. We doing numbers, man. It is truly a blessing. And um, we want y'all to be a, a part of what we got going on, man. So go ahead, y'all, and join the family by hitting that subscribe button, y'all, man. Hey, look, we grinding to hit that goal of 20K, and we are approaching, oh man crazy we are approaching 16k man so i thank each and every one of you guys man i thank each and every one of you guys for clicking on the video you know what i'm saying uh commenting down below hitting that like button go ahead and hit that like button for your boy if you are a part of the family hit that like button if you aren't a part of the family hit that like button for your boy man we're gonna keep you entertained over here man but uh in advance welcome to the family y'all but let's go ahead and get on to the topic at hand y'all which is to talk about you know my experiences with goat so uh if you guys aren't familiar there's an app called goat i mean if y'all are hiding in a rock or whatever you know but there's an app called goat obviously StockX, things such as that nature but we're here to be talking about goat because that's the one i use more you know rather than stock x uh you you basically go to your app store whether you on android ios type in goat g-o-a-t and um it'll pop up you download that app and um i guess off the jump I, i'm not i'm freestyling i forgot it's been a while since i um installed the app but i would think that they're gonna ask you about your personal information and stuff like that as soon as you get on it so uh go ahead and put all that in and after that you know you can go hit the search and uh search for things that you want when you start searching you're going to uh, find your items, of course, and when you click on it, you're going to have a, a section that says uh, buy new. Um, you swipe to your left and it's going to say use. And I guess if you swipe again, it might say uh, new with defects, something of that sort. I mean, like I said, this is just me just just remembering what I think it is, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But use section we're talking about the use shoes y'all if you go over to the use section you'll have all different sizes um the first size that should pop up highlighted is the size that you put in your settings as far as like your personal information so that size will pop up if you want any other sizes you just have to scroll up down through it or whatever but you click on that size in the use section that is and then you should get all these you know these boxes of different shoes priced from lowest to highest all the way at the bottom so uh what you do is you click on each i mean whichever one that the thumbnail picture looks like it interests you you click on that um shoe uh as well as the price if the price is suitable for you you click on that shoe and it's gonna pop up you're gonna have pictures of that shoe what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to thoroughly you know, I, I can't you know uh can't stress that enough that you want to thoroughly investigate and look at those pictures you know what i'm saying make sure that you know what you're buying because basically what you're seeing is what you're supposed to be getting so uh make sure that you're scrolling through all the pictures looking at all the detail if there's any scuffs any any you know anything that you you don't feel like uh should be on the shoe for the money that you're paying for but if you're okay with a scuff on it you know what i'm saying hey that, that's all on you but you want to thoroughly inspect that shoe next okay you're thinking about you know buying it you want to probably put in an offer for it i believe there's uh on the bottom it says buy uh, like i said i should i should have it right here in front of me but I'm, I'm gonna have it somewhat up over here on the screen as far as what i'm telling you guys but uh it, it should say like buy or offer if you guys want to put in a bid you know what i'm saying you can go to offer and then it's like a uh it's like a chart type of system you know you can scroll to your left i believe Scroll to your left or right, one of the two, is one is to higher it, one is to lower it. Once you start playing with it, you'll know exactly what I'm saying, but um, you can go ahead and uh, mess with that and you can put in a bid as far as what's what's suitable for your price range. If, if the shoe's going for 
throwing a number out there, two hundred dollars. The shoes are going for two hundred dollars. You can put in a bid for one seventy-five. You can put in a bid for one fifty. And um, I believe you have thirty days. You have like thirty days or so before that bid expires. Um, I'm not too sure if if you can go less days. I'm pretty sure you can. I, like I said, don't quote me on this, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave all that down in some sort of a message somewhere on the screen. Um, you can change those dates. You should be able to from 30 days to 60 days. They might have 10 days. They might have you know different dates as far as when your bid expires. So uh, if you wanna put in a bid and try to see if that seller will accept that bid, you can do that. Or you can just buy the shoe as, as far as uh, buying it just, just straight out, you know what I'm saying, um, for the price that's listed. But, before you uh, hit that buy button, what you want to do is go back to those pictures of that shoe. Make this is a major, major key, man. You you need to make sure that you go back to that specific shoe in the picture section. Go through each and every one of those pictures and take a screenshot of them. Use your I don't know if uh pretty much all these phones you can take screenshots on all phones. So if your phone is anywhere near a up to date phone make sure that you take a screenshot of every one of those photos the reason being is because as soon as you hit that buy button those photos are gone you you, you won't be able to see the shoe that you purchased until it comes and even when it comes you you won't be able to go back and be like hey this wasn't on the the picture you know what i'm saying so you need to make sure that you are taking a screenshot of every one of those uh pictures um that's associated with the shoe that you're purchasing because like I said, um, that's that's basically like your evidence. If you want to go back and, and uh, tell GOAT that, hey, this is not the shoe that was pictured in that picture, you got your evidence on your end versus, you know, you guessing what you thought you saw. Because like I said, once you hit that submit button on, on buying that shoe, there's no going back. And those pictures are gone. I guess the only people that can see those pictures is GOAT. Nobody else can see those pictures. So I, I actually uh, had an issue with that when I first ever uh, shopped on GOAT as far as buying a used shoe. Um, I, I wanted to look at because hey, I, it's a lot more people out there like me. When you when you buy something, you you get to watching videos about it. You want to see pictures of it. You so I wanted to see the shoe again. I wanted to see what I bought again. So I was going back. I'm looking for it. I'm like, man, why I can't find no pictures of this shoe that I just purchased? Uh, I messaged Go to buy it. I said, is there any way I can look at the photos of the shoe that I purchased? They said, no. Uh, sorry. Basically, once you you know you buy the shoe, those pictures are no longer there. So. That's why I'm telling you guys, major key is to take screenshots or photos, anything you can of those pictures of the shoe before you hit that buy button. So, um, yeah, once you do that, uh, then you're going to go through the whole process as far as uh, the seller um, confirming that shoe, which means they have to confirm that they seen that it's sold and they're uh, alert of it. So that once they do that, they confirm it, then um, they got to print out the, uh, the shipping, the shipping label. Once they print the shipping label, uh, your status on your order goes to seller packaging then from there when they drop it off at the post office it goes to on its way to go for authentication so it, it, it's uh basically it steps after you purchase that shoe if you go to your my account all the way down in the right left of you know your your, your main screen it's gonna be that little person looking thing you click on that which is your account all the way at the bottom of that it's gonna say my orders or orders you click on that and it's gonna show you a list of everything you ordered click on that shoe that you order and then like I said it's gonna show you what I was just telling you it's gonna show you all the steps and um, things as far as before you get your shoe so like I said your first step is going to be um, purchased I, I don't know what the first one is like I said freestyling y'all but I know the second thing is seller confirmed or, or it might be order received. Order received, seller confirmed, seller packaging, shipping to go. Uh, from shipping to go, it might go uh, authenticated. And then after that, it might go uh, awaiting UPS to pick up packets. And then your final step is delivered. Like I said, don't quote me. I'm going to put it all on the screen so that y'all can see it, y'all. But basically that is the steps and the process of, of going through buying a used shoe on goat 
major keys when doing it, as I said, is making sure that you're taking screenshots of all the photos of the shoe that you're purchasing, making sure you know what you're buying. Just, just you're, you're, you're uh, like I said, you're thoroughly inspecting those pictures of those shoes because you should be getting exactly what you see in those photos. But uh, yeah, man, that's a quick rundown, y'all. This is nothing special in this video, no on feet. No, no, nothing crazy, man. I just wanted to talk to you guys and tell y'all as far as um, I know a lot of y'all might be shopping on Go and, you know, buying shoes, some new, some used. But I just wanted to, you know, enlighten those who are shopping on there buying used shoes for the first time because I don't want y'all to run into that situation that I ran into as far as not being able to see again what I purchased. If, if y'all are going after any shoes on um, go use shoes, as I said, just follow the steps that I told y'all. Y'all should be straight and always make sure you do your own research when you get your shoes as far as uh, looking up, looking up like legit checks and all this. Always do your own research on this stuff, man. But uh, other than that, I have been talking, talking, talking. And um, I know probably half of y'all clicked off the video already. But uh, for those who stayed, I truly appreciate y'all, man. And um, we got more heat coming, man. As I said, I'm going to try to get more videos out to you guys. And um... I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all more than y'all understand. And, um, yeah, we're knocking on the door 16K. So, uh, go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And, um, your boy Jay the Sneaky Guy will catch you on the next one, y'all. Y'all stay blessed, man. Peace.